Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pekka Rantola, Chief Marketing Officer, HMD Global. Dami Ekaspara, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Nokia house band live from Moscow. What a wonderful way to invite me to the stage. Thank you so much. Spasiba. And dear friends, dear partners, dear fans, dear members of media, uh, good evening and Dabro Bashalatev. A warm welcome to all of you. It's so great to see you all here. And it's so great to be here in Moscow, in the dynamic an amazing city of Moscow. You know, last night I had a chance to take a walk in the evening down to Nikolskaya Street. I could wander the beautiful, beautiful light show on top of the street, showing me the way. So great to be here in Moscow. And we have a special reason why we are here. We are here to make worldwide announcement of new Nokia Android smartphones. We are going to announce them globally to the world. And this is a big moment for us it's a great pleasure and privilege that you guys are with us here and sharing this very magical moment. So thank you very much for being with us this evening. But this is not the first time that Nokia phones are being launched globally in Moscow. It happened last time and first time uh, in 2003, August 2003, when Nokia 1100 and Nokia 2300 were uh, launched to the world. I actually happened to be there 15 years ago. It was a thrilling day, a fantastic day. I never forget that. But I think that this evening, it has all the ingredients to become even bigger night, not only because of the fact that we have even more products to announce this evening. So Russia has always been a true Nokia heartland. There has always been a special, special bonding and relationship with Russian consumers and the Nokia brand. And you know, when I look around here, I see a lot of Nokia brand in here. I see some good old friends, really from the past. I see fans here. I really feel like being home here. And talking about being home, we are HMD Global, a young startup from Finland, and we are the home of Nokia phones. We are on a very special mission, very exciting mission. We are on a mission to bring back one of the most loved and admired consumer brands of all times to the smart mobile telephony. And it's really early days in our journey. It has just started 18 months ago. But what an incredible journey it has been already. Oh boy, we've experienced so much. We've achieved already quite a lot and you will soon hear more about it. But let me guarantee that we keep our feet on ground, we stay humble and modest, we listen very carefully to the consumers and our trade partners on our journey forward. But at this stage still, I would like to extend my thanks on behalf of the entire HMD team, who is here and in other parts of the world, to all our fans and trade partners and friends around the world who have been supporting us in this you know, beginning of the journey. We have got such an incredible continuous support from so many people that thank you very much, Spasiba. And still thank you for all of you who are in this room for sharing this magical, unforgettable moment with us. We have a lot of local media here. We have close to 100 international media members here. And of course, we are also live streaming this event. So behind the cameras, I bet there are a couple of millions of consumers, our fans who are with us this evening. So thank you very much for spending the time uh, with us. Thank you so much. And still a few words about why we are here in Russia. Well, first of all, Russia is one of our biggest and fastest growing markets for Nokia phones. At this stage, I really would like to extend the thanks to our local HMD team led by Alexei Zenkov. Alexei is somewhere here. Can you raise your hand? There, thank you, Alexei and Maxim and everyone. Very well done, great start. But Nokia brand is also one of the most loved brands by Russian consumers. And already today, we have more than half a million registered fans who are following us, with whom we can engage, from whom we can learn so much. But to tell you the truth, and perhaps I'm telling and, and talking about experience, I know that the reality is that there are millions and millions of Russian consumers 
who really feel for the Nokia brand. They feel positive for the brand because Nokia brand is not just any brand out there. It's a very special brand. It's a brand that has a very unique and authentic story to share. It's more than 150 years old brand. And the fact is that in high-tech space, Nokia brand is a very special brand. It's a very different brand because it's so emotional brand. And that is one of the reasons also why we are here, because the Russian consumers, to me, always I've, I've admired how emotional Russian consumers are and how well they can express their emotions. So there's a very special fit between the Russian consumers and the Nokia brand. And perhaps there's also a fourth reason why we are here. Because 15 years ago, like I told you, Nokia introduced uh, Nokia 1100 to the world. And so far, Nokia 1100 has been selling 250 million units around the world. So it's not perhaps a bad idea to launch new phones in Moscow. Hopefully the same will now repeat. And all in all, it's really early days for us. We've been on this journey for 18 months. But we have already started to bond with the consumers, engage with them. We have received a lot of insight, a lot of input, a lot of advice, a lot of critique uh, towards what we are doing. And we are so grateful for all this feedback. We want to listen to that very carefully. So far, we have more than 150 million visits into our websites all around the world. We have uh, close to half a billion video views in our website of the marketing assets that we have created. And last year alone, there were more than 250,000 articles about us, most of them extremely positive or neutral. But like I said, we stay humble and modest. We have feet on the ground. We want to learn. And we very carefully study all the feedback we are getting in order to make even, in order to make even better products and engage even better way with the consumers. And uh, just before I hand over to the next one, I still wanted to remind that we are in a branded consumer business. And in this business, the most important thing is to become and stay relevant with the consumers. And we stay very humble in, in front of this challenge. I think we have managed to start the right way, take a couple of first steps to the right direction, but it's really early days. And for us especially, it's very important we reach out to the next generation, that we capture the hearts and minds of young millennials. And I'm happy to share with you that this journey also has started very well. We will soon hear more from the next speaker, some uh, evidence that, that we are already bonding pretty well with the young audience. But now, dear friends, it's time to invite to the stage the next speaker. He is the captain of our ship. And we will soon hear from him how it has been sailing this boat for the past 18 months. But more importantly, where is he going to take the boat going forward? So, Dami Igaspada, it's my great pleasure to invite to the stage the Chief Executive Officer, Florian Zeicher. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome, everyone. It's great to be here with you in Moscow on this beautiful evening. What better setting could we have asked for for our new global product announcement in this beautiful city on this wonderful evening? It's been very exciting times for us as HMD, and I'd like to share with you a couple of the milestones along our journey so far. In Mobile World Congress, just a few months ago, we've shared with you that we've sold more than 70 million new Nokia phones in 2017. And this year, we have every intention to grow that number, and we're busy making great progress on our journey ahead. And we've also shared that we are we have already presence in more than 80 markets and in consumers in more than 170 markets globally are activating their new Nokia phones. That was back in Barcelona. 
Now, just three months further along, we can report that we have happy consumers in more than 200 markets activating their new Nokia phones, and we're actively selling in more than 91 markets. So that's great progress. But what else? We have managed to establish a leading position in the feature phone space globally, but even more proud here today to announce that also in Russia, we are the number one in feature phones in this market, which is awesome. And in smartphones, remember back in Barcelona we shared we had reached by the end of 2017 15 markets globally where we already made it to the top five of smartphones only after two quarters of selling our new Nokia Android range. Now, one quarter further ahead, at the end of Q1, we managed to increase that to 21 markets globally, having sold, having been able in the top five position, including Russia again. Really, really proud. And your support and belief in our journey has led to another amazing opportunity. Just last week, we announced that we've closed an investment of a further 100 million US dollars into HMD. And this is really, really amazing. What this means, it takes us into the league of the global tech unicorns with a valuation of more than a billion dollars only 18 months into our journey. But more importantly, what this means for our mission is we now can fully focus on accelerating our growth and uh, focusing on our strategy in 2018. And we've identified three key areas. One, we want to expand our product portfolio. Second, we want to deepen our presence in the key markets like Russia. And number three, we want to continue that innovation spirit and you'll see more just in a minute on this. So we're extremely busy at work and what I find really, really f amazing is we have now a complete product lineup in our Nokia Android family and the best thing about it is we have a new Nokia phone for every consumer to choose the right one for him or for her. We have fantastic NPS scores. For example, the new Nokia 7 Plus, nine out of 10 consumers are actively recommending their phone to their friends, which is just unbelievably positive scores. And what's even more exciting, in just a minute with the announcements we're going to share with you this evening, we will have a complete lineup of renewed and refreshed Nokia Android smartphones from the Nokia One all the way to the Nokia 8 Sirocco. And to share with you more on our exciting announcements, let me invite Juho Sarvikas, our Chief Product Officer, on stage. Thank you, Florian. Hi there. Thank you for welcoming us here in Moscow. Moscow and Russia is one of our key global markets. I wanted to start by talking about my favorite topic, product making. And note that we're not just making any products, we're making Nokia Android smartphones. And we know that you hold a high standard for us, one that we aim to meet. In today's technology race, we see a unique opportunity to refocus on what actually matters. We have a very pure, purpose-led way of creating our devices, one where craftsmanship and design are at the absolute center. In addition, we want to exceed your expectations in real life once you have your Nokia Android smartphone in use. In short, 
we create phones that you can rely on. The way we accomplish this is that we demand more from our devices than anyone else in this industry. We take our designs to the absolute limit. I'll give you a couple of examples. Each product, each model that we make, we put up and power down a quarter of a million times. Now, if you were to do that once a day, that means 685 years worth of use. We drop our designs hundreds of times from the pocket height so that we know that your Nokia Android smartphone is likely to survive in real life if the phone slips from your hand. And we ensure the phone is operational and works in the coldest midwinter night here in Moscow or on a warm summer day in India. When you combine this rigorous testing with our leadership in material and manufacturing technologies, we're able to deliver the quality that you expect from a true Nokia phone. But reliability and trust is much more than hardware. Here's where our unique promise on Android comes to play. Pure, secure, and up-to-date. We were the first manufacturer to commit to monthly security updates across our entire range. We've delivered this month on month on every single model in our lineup. Secondly, we made the promise of a phone that only gets better over time. Our entire range from Nokia 1 to Nokia 8 Sirocco is running on Android Oreo with the Nokia 2 joining the family this June. I don't believe any other manufacturer can make the same claim. And we keep our Android pure. Pure of malware, bloatware. We believe that you should be in full control of the experience on your device. You decide what you do with your phone. Another key part of our promise of up-to-date is bringing the hero features of the latest phones, also the devices that are already in market. One of the key asks that we've heard from you is to bring Nokia Pro Camera to Nokia 8. We will start the rollout this Friday. And note that we're not simply updating a new feature of the camera. We actually overhauled the whole camera framework based on the feedback that we received from you. Now you can take picture-perfect images with little fuss on your Nokia 8. You might have noticed in Google I.O. some two weeks ago that Nokia 7 Plus is one of the lead products for Android P development. We're now on our third iteration of our Android <coughs> P developer preview build on the Nokia 7 Plus. Yet another sh showcase of our commitment to stay at the cutting edge of the latest Google innovation and platform. Like uh, Florian and Becca already mentioned, we might be announcing some new devices here today. These devices as well will be forward compatible and will upgrade to Android P. We also stated that the best way of getting access to the latest service innovation from Google is to buy a Nokia Android smartphone. Let me substantiate that. All of our Android One devices, the new Nokia 6, Nokia 7 Plus, and Nokia 8 Sirocco, have already integrated Google Lens. Most of the devices in our range are Android for Enterprise certified. This is a very scrutinizing test set that we do get together with Google and with our own engineering team to ensure that your Nokia Android smartphone thrives in the most demanding enterprise environment. And then thirdly, the Nokia 8 Sirocco and the new Nokia 6, with Nokia 7 Plus joining the party shortly, have been AR Core certified. You can access over 300 very cool augmented reality applications from the Google Play Store. All of this is just the beginning. We have a very strong product lineup in market today, from Nokia 1 
to Nokia 800. I feel very proud of every single device that we've launched. But one thing that makes me particularly proud is that there is a soul behind each of these devices. There is a target consumer that we have particularly in mind. We know their needs, we know how, to, <clears throat> and we improve their lives with solutions that we encapsulate into beautiful designs with a unique soul to it. Each of our devices have a unique character. Today, we continue the renewal of our lineup that we started with the new Nokia 6 in MWC Barcelona this February. Today, we're looking at the value segment of the marketplace. Now, if you remember, this is the same place where we started in 2017 when we announced our first devices in Barcelona. The segment between $100 to $250 is where 42% of the consumers out there buy their phone. We also believe that we're in a unique position to deliver extraordinary value in a segment where people maybe are too often forced to compromise. This segment is our homeland. Like I mentioned, we start the definition of every Nokia Android smartphone by listening carefully to our consumers. We understand their needs, and we target a solution in a beautiful design that's purpose-built for these consumers out there. There are a couple of key, per key observations that we've made as we're looking at this value segment. First of all, smartphone is very often the only personal screen that these people have. Secondly, they live extremely mobile lives, many of them commuting from early morning to late evening with no ability to charge their phone. And then thirdly, they spend five active hours on the device with the screen on. This makes for a very complex, very demanding consumer profile. All of this in mind, last September in India, we announced the first Nokia 2. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce the first sequel of today, the all-new Nokia 2. A bigger screen, better performance, even better battery life, spiced up with a dual front-firing stereo speaker to perfect the uh, on-the-go entertainment solution, the all-new Nokia 2 for long-lasting entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, the all-new Nokia 2. You told us that you loved the two-day battery life of our first iteration. The all-new Nokia 2 takes that even further. We've increased the performance of the design by using a Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 mobile platform by over 50%. Secondly, we've grown the screen real estate over 20%. Yet, through the close collaboration together with Qualcomm and with Google on Android Oreo Go Edition, the new Nokia 2 draws 10% less power than the original, giving you, allowing us to squeeze three hours more of operational time in the all-new Nokia 2. Like we already established, Screen is absolutely central, even more so with these consumers in mind. The all-new Nokia 2 offers a beautiful, large 5.5-inch HD screen that gives you 20% more real estate to enjoy your content. It is complemented by dual front-firing stereo speakers to perfect 
the entertainment experience. Design is core to us. We want to make sure that no matter how much you pay for your new Nokia Android smartphone, you feel very proud to carry it. The old new Nokia 2 stands out of the crowd with a sophisticated Nordic design and a metallic accent. Rounded, inherently colored polycarbonate keeps your Nokia 2 vibrant, safe, and scratch resistant. The new Nokia 2 will ship in three colors, blue copper, blue silver, and gray silver. Like all of our devices, the Nokia 2 features the latest Android. In this case, we're using the Android Oreo Go Edition. It's a software that's purposely built for this segment in mind, delivering you faster and smoother performance, more storage space for your use, beautiful, easy-to-use UI, and our signature pure take on Android, bloat and mobile-free experience. The new Nokia 2 will be available this July, priced at $115 in key markets. Now let's talk about our mo most popular franchise to date, the Nokia 3. Over the last year, millions of people trusted the Nokia 3 as their go-to smartphone <coughs> of preference, making it the most successful mod up, model in our lineup to date. Sometimes it's good to keep things simple. That's exactly what we'll do here. We will give you an even more premium design with sophisticated design elements only accessible in the highest end of the market today. We will deliver better performance and we'll still ensure that you get this awesome compact feel when you have the phone in your hand or in your pocket. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the ultra-compact, most premium design in its range, the all-new Nokia 3. The all-new Nokia 3. The new Nokia 3 forces a very rich connection between compact form factor, stunning design, and performance. We believe that everybody should be able to access designs that you can be truly proud of and truly proud to carry with you. And once you, feel the, once you hold the Nokia 3 in your hand, you'll feel the beautiful, compact, unique shape and character of it. You can feel the Nokia quality. The new Nokia 3 features our signature dual anodized diamond cut, a feature that has been exclusively available at the highest end of the marketplace up until today. The Nokia 3 brings a new level of precision and beautiful detail. While we wanted to make sure that we offer you a compact phone, like our first Nokia 3, we also felt like you should have more screen. The display solution in the all-new Nokia 3 is unique in this industry. We are deploying a 5.2-inch, 18 by 9 HD screen. In a world where everything gets getting bigger and bigger, we see a large consumer preference for compact, high-performance, design-driven smartphones. Once you hold the new Nokia 3 in your hand, you will feel the magic of this unique form factor. Personally, I love the feel. 
The most popular request that we got from our Nokia 3 users out there is to step up the performance. So that's exactly what we're doing with the all-new Nokia 3. We now deliver 50% more computing power to the MediaTek 6750 octa-core solution. It's quite a unique solution. The cores are asymmetric. So when you need the power, we have four cores running at a high 1.5 gigahertz clock speed. On the other hand, that's balanced by four cores running at a lower speed. This way, we can ensure the right balance between high performance and extreme ba extremely good battery life that we're, of course, known for. In addition, this level of performance is excellent value for money in the segment. The new Nokia 3 will ship in three colors. Blue copper, beautiful design I'm holding in my hand. Black chrome and white iron. Best of all, the new Nokia 3 is shipping already. The product will be available in a store nearby you within the coming weeks. Just like the first Nokia 3, our all new iteration is also priced at 139 euros when it comes to average global retail price. In Barcelona of 2017, when we announced the Nokia 5, I believe we made a statement that this is the most Nokia design, most Nokia product that we could have ever dreamt of. It's built on strong, inherent aluminum unibody, precision milled to the detail. Paired with our fourth generation antenna innovation, the Nokia 5 brought a complete novelty to the marketplace. Beautiful clean back with an antenna solution that's designed to be held in your hand. Again, all of that goes into exceeding your expectations in real life. Now, it's time to introduce the sequel. The all-new Nokia 5, a timeless classic, refined. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet the all-new Nokia 5. The new Nokia 5 is a perfect example of signature Nokia quality and premium craftsmanship in action. It is milled out of a single block of 6,000 serious aluminum to deliver the ultimate structural integrity. Its pure design is refined to a 33 stage of machining, polishing, and anodizing to deliver the refinement and attention to detail. We finished the device with a beautiful satin finish for the excellent quality and feel in hand. One, another unique signature element of the new Nokia 5 is its display. We've moved from a 5.2 screen to a 5.5, 18 by 9, full HD plus display. The pixel density of the display is 443 pixels per inch, making it an extremely sharp, detailed display. Whether it's videos or your own content, you will enjoy watching that on your new Nokia 5. The new Nokia 5, just like the Nokia 3, features a state-of-the-art chipset solution. Also here, we're using an octa-core asymmetric solution, but now the big cores are running at 2 gigahertz, and the smaller ones at 1.2 gigahertz. 
The MTK Helio P18 engine delivers stunning performance and excellent value for money. It computes 40% faster than the first Nokia 5. I believe that both of these devices, the new Nokia 3 and the new Nokia 5, will excel when it comes to performance in its category. One thing I failed to mention with the Nokia 3, we've also overhauled the imaging. The main camera on the new Nokia 3 is now 13 megapixels. The new Nokia 5 features a 16 megapixel face detection autofocus camera. So the display and the camera are capable of capturing excellent detail. The new Nokia 5 comes in three colors. The beautiful satin copper that I'm holding in my hand, a tempered blue, and then the third color, black, joining the party a couple of weeks later. The new Nokia 5 will be available this July at an average global retail price of 189 euros. So the new Nokia 2 delivers the latest Android, pure, secure, and up-to-date, on the Android Oreo Go edition. The new Nokia 3 and Nokia 5, of course, are joining our ever-growing Android One family. We forged a very strong partnership together with Google to deliver on the promise of best of Android. To talk to you more about this proposition and our partnership, I would like to invite Anne from Google on the stage. everyone. Thanks a lot to the HMD team for having me today with them to congratulate on this uh, great new set of devices. So, hi everyone. I'm Alonso, I'm from Google, and I run Android partnerships at Google. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. I was very lucky to be with HMD in Barcelona at MWC, and I'm really impressed by the momentum they've had since then, and this new range of devices. As you know, we have been working very closely with HMD on two, two different initiatives which are very important for Google. Android Oreo Go Edition, and Android One. So first, I'd like to welcome the Nokia 2 to the Go Edition family. Android Oreo Go Edition is a significant step into our mission to bring quality computing experiences to everyone. With the Go Edition program, we have created an optimized configuration of Android Oreo to, up, to improve the experience on devices with one gigabyte and less. We have focused on faster performance, security, more storage, and better control of mobile data usage, all things that are critical to making sure that the most affordable devices can still deliver on the full promise of a smartphone. Now let me welcome the Nokia 3 and the Nokia 5 to the Android One family and explain you into more details what it means about this initiative, why Android One, and why we are so excited about these devices. So our study shows that our users really care about three things. They want a durable phone that will give you access to all innovations that are useful in life. Two, they want smartphones to hold their precious memories and keep them safe. And then they want their devices to be easy to use and get the most out of them. 
Android One delivers on this promise. It's a portfolio of devices that we believe offers some of the best phone experience everywhere. At Google, we believe that products should be intuitive and secure. They should improve over time and adapt to you to make your life easier, not the other way around. Through this Android One partnership, we combine Google's latest software and services with HMD expertise in high-quality hardware and the global strength of the Nokia brand. The Android One software experience is designed by Google to be smart, secure, and simply amazing. Smart because Android One showcases the latest Google innovations, like Android Oreo smart feature to extend battery life, and Google design UI and launcher. Then Android One phones are among the most secure, with protections built into every layer of the phone. These devices come with the latest, most secure version of Android. They are reinforced with monthly security update, and they come with built-in malware protection from Google Play Protect, which scans more than 50 billion apps every day to keep you safe. And finally, Android One devices come out of the box with a refreshingly clean UI and a carefully set of preloaded apps, so you have plenty of room and storage out of the box to make the phone really yours. And as always, storage extends beyond the phone with apps like Google Photo providing unlimited storage with high quality for free. But best of all, the Android One experience doesn't stand still. These Nokia phones will not only ship with Android Oreo, the latest version of Android, they will also automatically get upgraded to Android P, our next version, when it becomes available. And this is a key part of the Android One promise. Your device is constantly getting better for you. We are bringing all of this into Russia and around the globe with our partner HMD. So if you love a beautiful design phone with a clean and simple interface, if you like trying the latest and greatest from Google, and if you want your device to stay future-proof with the latest software and security protection, then you will love these new Nokia phones with Android One. Now I want to extend again my congratulations to the HTMD team for these amazing devices, and welcome Pekka back on stage. Is the microphone on? Yes, it is. So thank you, Anne, for being with us this evening, and thank you for the great partnership. Even if it's early days, it's already so strong. We are with and you. <laughs> could you please stay still on the stage, because some people have been asking for group photos. Okay. And of course, we want to have right in the middle of the photo. So Florian and Juho, could you come? And then, ladies and gentlemen, I have a great pleasure also to invite to the stage our general manager of our business in Russia, Alexei Zenkov. Here's the phone. So now we make these photos. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for, for being with us. And uh, now the show is over, but now you have a fantastic opportunity to make a deep dive to the new Nokia 2 new Nokia 3, new Nokia 5. There's a demonstration center there. And after 20 minutes, we are also going to open the bar. But first, we need to work hard, and then some fun starts. Thank you very much. Let's have a nice evening together. Spasiba. Thank you.